Hey guys, it's time to unbox a phone which I was waiting for for quite some time and it's finally here. It's the Xiaomi Mi 8 and this thing is an iPhone 10 with Android plus Android internals like the Snapdragon 845 processor. So here is the box as you can see it looks pretty black and they got super inspired by the iPhone 10 and its notch and the way Apple made this phone with the vertical camera. So uh, let's see how it's gonna be compared to this. It might actually be better than the iPhone 10. who knows. So let's unbox this and first thing of course for the price, this thing is better. It's almost like half the price of the iPhone 10. so pretty simple box. We got the 8 logo up front along with some Chinese written at the back side of the box. So this is of course using the 12 megapixel dual camera, has AI and Snapdragon 845 processor, some GPS thing written which I can't read. Time to open the box. It has this plastic so I don't have my knife. I'm gonna use this scissor. Okay, here we go. I kind of like the 8. It has this rainbow color touch to it. it changes color when I move it around. Let's get it out. Okay, some more stuff in Chinese. Let's pick this one up first. So this one obviously has some paperwork. And here we have the iPhone inspired Xiaomi Mi 8. So right off the bat, we got the notch up front and it has this blue color. Looks pretty shiny. Let's just put this on the side. First, we're going to see what's inside the box other than the phone. So first up is the charger, which obviously does support fast charging. Then we got the USB-C cable and that's it. Nothing else. Let's see this one. So it includes, okay, so no headphone jack. That's why they included the Type-C to 3.5 millimeter uh, adapter. So you can use your normal headphones because there's no headphone jack on this phone because it literally copied Apple in every way possible, but at a much cheaper price. So that's a good thing. Here we have the silicon case with it. All right, now let's take a look at the phone itself. So we got stickers all over it. There's one on the back. We're gonna remove it real quick. And of course there's one on the front. Here we go. So this is a 6.2 inch display with a 1080p resolution. Let's just quickly power up this phone. Yes, it does have battery. So 6.2 inch display uh, with a resolution of 1080p HD+. It's a Gorilla Glass 5 and also it has the DCI-P3 color gamut. Let's just see. Okay, MIUI 9. I think this is the Oreo based uh, Mi software. Let's see. This is their current flagship and you can see that they were inspired by Apple a lot. So I'm going through the setup here. Skip everything. Obviously, this one does have a fingerprint sensor. And I believe there is also uh, a face ID equivalent on the front. So this notch is big for a reason because it has a 3D facial sensor. Let's just have pattern. We have the option to choose themes. Let's have it on the limitless. It also giving me the option to have gestures or buttons. So I think I'm going to go with buttons because that's going to be easier. And here we go. So the phone is on. Let's first set the brightness all the way max. And you can see both phones are looking pretty good. Like I said, they are super inspired by Apple. And of course, their notch is actually feels and their notch actually feels a little bit bigger than Apple's notch. Uh, maybe they are the same. Maybe Apple ones is a little bit not deeper. This one is going a bit too deep in the display. But nonetheless, this is a notch display. Um, and of course, very similar to Apple. And uh, the thing about the Apple display is that there is no chim, which is uh, pretty damn good. And that's why I don't like this design too much because of having a chin and a notch. That's the thing with most of the Android phones that are using the notch, like the OnePlus 6 or Huawei P20, you get a chin uh, as well with the notch, which is not cool. If we look at the back, of course, this is looking pretty similar as well, especially these cameras. If you look at it closely, you can definitely see that they are very similar. Uh, the flash position, uh, there's no microphone on the Mi. It's probably on the side or somewhere, but you can see that it's similar, uh, very similar to Apple inspired by that. Of course, there's no Apple logo on here. Instead, we get the fingerprint scanner. Okay, so this is a 6.2 inch display. It's looking pretty high resolution. 
I gotta say, 1080p, uh, not bad. And like I said, the pricing of this phone is pretty cheap. I think uh, for about $400, you can get it in China if you live there. I think it's also available in India at that price. So that's pretty good. It's like a uh, one plus six competitor uh, and you can say an iPhone 10 with Android because it is so similar to that. It's probably the best iPhone 10 clone you can buy. And it has Snapdragon 845, which obviously runs super fast and it should be able to handle everything. The fingerprint reader is also lightning quick. Now this one does have a facial scanner, 3D facial scanner, but uh, the fingerprint scanner is really, really fast. So if I'm gonna use this phone, I would probably use the fingerprint scanner instead of the uh, face ID. So I've just entered the face information and as you can see, it is super duper quick. Let me just try that again. I'm actually behind the microphone, so it's actually pretty fast. Really, really fast, faster than the Face ID of Apple. Let's try that out at the same time. So let me just quickly go up like this and okay. So I have to swipe on both phones. I'm gonna do that. This one definitely feels a little bit quicker, although on iOS 12, the iPhone X's Face ID has improved a lot. So yeah, facial scanner is still there, but uh, uh, the fingerprint scanner is the most appropriate one. It is really fast and most reliable in all situations. So uh, it's a one up from Apple. I mean, you don't get fingerprint scanner here. It's just the Apple logo that doesn't do anything. So software wise, of course, it's their Mi UI. It's a pretty simple software uh, setup, nothing too fancy going on. And here are all the specs information of this phone. So uh, six gigabyte of RAM, octa-core, 2.8 gigahertz Snapdragon 45 processor, 128 gigabyte memory. And all of that, we have 114 gigabyte available. And you can also see that it comes with Android 8.1.0 Oreo. Now this phone is actually bigger and thicker than iPhone 10 because it has a bigger display and also a bigger battery coming at 3400 millibar battery size. So I've been using the iPhone 10 for the most time and I can definitely say that this phone will be better when it comes to battery life compared to the iPhone 10. It's a 1080p display with 3400 millibar cell. It should be able to give you a one day of usage without any problem. Now let's check out the camera with the first launch. It's going to show you this AI camera setting. So uh, it will basically detect the scene uh, based on the scene you have, identify the picture and then optimize everything. So it's kind of like what Huawei does with its phone for years. So it does that if you go into AI mode, but if you have the AI mode disabled, it doesn't do that. You just have to do all the stuff the old fashioned way. So uh, this is a 12 megapixel dual camera. It shoots 4K video from the pictures that I've taken in the studio and in the low light situation, it is looking pretty good, uh, better than other Xiaomi phones that I've tried. And of course, on the front, you get a 20 megapixel front camera. Camera UI software is filled with a lot of features and it's looking very similar to Apple's software, uh, camera software. So you can swipe to change modes. You got all the modes that you normally see on an iPhone, portrait mode is here, uh, square mode, panorama, a manual mode, which is something only with this phone, you don't see that on the iPhone 10. Some other settings such as changing the contrast of the picture, saturation, by default you can do that, you don't have to you know, play with the settings after taking the picture. So if you think that camera is showing you a bit less saturation, you can set it to high, then your pictures will turn out to be a bit more saturated. So it's definitely looking more attractive now with the orange paper here. And of course, right from here, you can change your effects. You also have 2X optical zoom, which is pretty good as well. So this is the Xiaomi Mi 8. And like I said, it's the iPhone 10 running Android in a bigger form factor with a Snapdragon processor. And of course, with a bigger battery with the fingerprint scanner on the back and a much cheaper price. So this could actually be a better phone than the iPhone 10. Like overall price wise, the iPhone 10 is just so much expensive right now. Uh, but then again, of course, it's not Apple and some people might hate the fact that it looks so much like the iPhone 10, but some people will love it because the features for the price are just great. So. I might do a full review, I might do some speed tests. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.